Welcome back to Sunless Sea. At the moment, I am fairly far to the east at Godfall. So before I do anything else, one thing I want to do is some people have been telling me that I need to talk to my officers some more. And they're absolutely correct, because I've barely talked to them. Because I think all, or at least most of them, actually have their own storylines. So I want to talk to them just to see if there's any storylines that involve visiting places that are perhaps actually very close to where I'm at right now. So let's talk to them. I don't think the comatose ferret has a storyline. I would be very surprised. Um, let's see. A sort of hunt. A rat. The ferret rises like a serpent and streaks across the room like a discharged spark. At least, in theory, it does. In practice, it orients its head towards the rat, which disappears instantly in a puff of squeak. <laughs> God damn it! Why are you so comatose, you damn comatose ferret? Useless. Ah, need muter salt to do that. Not going to happen unless... Hold on, I can I actually... Oh, this place doesn't even have a shop, does it? Nope. Okay. Now, how many secrets do I have? Because I could spend them. I have five. Hmm. Okay, I'll spend one. One heart, from 26 to 27. Yay! Probably a waste. I don't know. Irrepressible Cannoneer. I'm assuming there's no more to do with the storyline since we finished it, but perhaps there's another one? No. Okay. Tireless Mechanic. What is up with you? Invite him to dinner. One supply. Yeah, that's fine, because I'm actually very close to Aestabel, where I can get a crap ton of supplies. So, sure. An appeal. Thanks for the meal. And the company. No, no wine. It makes me sleepy. Oh yes, I can't sleep. Too easily. That's the problem. He hesitates. There's a drought I take nightly, to substitute for sleep. It works well enough, and it keeps me sane and upright. But I wish I could enjoy just one night's sleep. If you could help me. We need a clay man from Polythreme. We'll need a mirror catch box, and we'll need to go to Hunter's Keep. I'll explain when we get there. No, I'm serious. I would owe you a great deal. That is a lot. A clay man and a mirror catch box. I'm pretty sure those are pretty damn expensive. Um... Yeah, let's actually, let's go ahead and check the Magical Trade Info document. I'm just going to search for Catch. So I'm not sure if he needs an empty box or what, but this costs uh, three secrets at Aram. <laughs> Maybe he wants a mirror catch box full of angry snakes? Oh, you can't even buy that. No, you can only sell that at, at Con Shadow. Yep, empty box. Could buy an empty one for 250. That's actually not too bad. Alright, that's it for that. Uh, what about the clay man? Do I have any of those? Nope. At least, none in my list. Okay, so he does want an empty mirror catch box, which I could do. I mean, it only costs 250 at Con Shadow. I think the clay man is also a couple hundred, though, and honestly, I just don't have enough money to be kind of, like, throwing my weight around like that and just buying stuff to progress the storyline. Nah, I can't afford it. I need to save this money for supplies and for actually doing the trade missions and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't spare it. One day, though, I will do that. And what about you? Invite him to dine. He has an admirable appetite for a so slight a fellow. Forgetfulness. Seconds, then thirds, disappear in small, hasty morsels. He is nervous, and not a gifted conversationalist. 
You do your best to plug the silence. When you ask about his past, he winces. I can't say, my lord, this... He taps the livid sigil on his temple, which twitches like a scorpion's sting. This has burned away my memories. I recall I have a brother, but not his name or where he is. I remember the names of the ships I've served on. The Implicit, the Bonnie Swan, but not their crew. How did he come by the sigil? He clutches his head. I don't know. I don't know. Thinking about it is like fire in my skull, he grits his teeth. Someone must have hated me very much to curse me with it. But I can't even remember my enemy. That really sucks. I feel bad for him. So can I do it again? Apparently I can. A destination. He paces the deck. I see a lonely house lit by tallow and wick. A bell is ringing. It rings now. Do you hear it? He scratches at his sigil, which has begun to bleed. Do you know this place, Captain? Can I plot a course? A place of candles and bells. The Chapel of Light. A northern church where no sin is too terrible. Oh, you know what? The Chapel of Lights. Isn't that the place where there's a feast and you can eat as much as you want for free? Every time I go there? And when he ate, it said that he devoured like a second and third course without... without taking a break, like he was... For such a slight fellow, he ate an incredible amount. So there's some sort of a connection between food and his appetite. And the Chapel of Lights. Interesting. How close is that? Hmm. Okay, okay, it's up here. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. So if you take a look at my fuel, my fuel is not great. I've got a decent amount of it, but I want to keep my lights on because my terror is 35. And if I keep my lights on, this is going to go down very fast. So that means I don't want to get too far away. So I'm going to go up to... Um, let's, let's go like east so we can explore a little bit down here. And then let's go straight up and I'll get a bunch of supplies at Ace Devel And just kind of go along this going backwards. So we'll hit the Chapel of Lights and then after a little bit we'll hit Mount Palmerston where I can buy a bunch of fuel. Yeah, that sounds good. So east and then up like this. Alright, uh, it's been a little while since I've played, so I'm kind of a little bit nervous about my boat. So, let's see, I, I have the new boat, 200 hit points. I should be able to make quick work of anything with around 200 hit points, so I should be okay. Yeah, we should be fine. So long as we don't go over that horrible, horrible face, or horrible faces, that are under the water. There's a lot of them. Tides of Appetite. That thing is fucking creepy. Where is it? Oh, it's just right there. Hmm. It's kind of in an awkward spot, though. I don't... I really do not want to get too close to those faces. But let's see if we can swing it. Boing. Discovered Polythreme. Wait, is this the place? Oh, no, th this is Polythreme. This is different from the Ties of Appetite. Oh, this is a pretty, um... It's a pretty dense place over here. Khan's Glory, Khan's Heart, Khan's Shadow, Godfall, Ties of Appetite, Polythreme... Hmm. Well, Polythreme is a pretty big place, so perhaps I can actually buy fuel here? Hopefully.
What the hell? Here is screaming. Okay. Taciturn clay men. Evasive clothes colonies? Walking like humans. Cobbles that groan underfoot. On the hills above, a palace villa of marble. But even that writhes like buried bones in an earthquake. God, the writing is so good. L listen to how evocative that is. But even that writhes like buried bones in an earthquake. That's a brilliant bit of text. Writhing like buried bones in an earthquake. I mean, they didn't have to say buried bones. It could have been anything. But just the use of saying buried bones just paints a very... a very vivid image. Wait. Carry clay men to London. Ooh, can we do trades? I think we can. Alright, well, first thing, let's gather intelligence. What lives? The king with a hundred hearts rules from his palace above the city. He is never seen. He makes no treaties with other lands. But there's unrest in the air. The clay men you speak to are obedient and humble, but they speak nervously of those who are not. The maimed, the rebellious, the unfinished. What a strange people. Are they even people? Or are they... creatures like bits of stone brought to life by the king? <laughs> sure, leave. Polythreme is an expensive place to reduce terror. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Plus, I'm just imagining, like, if you go t into a bar in Polythreme full of these clay men, like, when you think of a bar and having fun at a bar, you think of just, like, people screaming and everybody playing games and arm wrestling and playing cards and whatnot. People telling tales. But I feel like if... I feel like a bar wouldn't even exist in Polythreme, and even if it did, it would just be full of... just literally stony-faced clay men. Wouldn't exactly be a good time. An audience with a king, what do you need for that? A watchful curio. That's actually... I think that's pretty easy to get. Yeah, let's take a look at the uh, list here. Curio. Costs one secret at Aram, which is pretty close. Looks like that's the only place that has it, at least on my uh, list here. See, so yeah, it's actually not too expensive. And what about your shop? <laughs> Bring material. You can sell a judgment's egg for six hundred. We are clay. Ah, it's an auxiliary thing. Do I have an auxiliary slot? Nah, there's no shipyard. Oh, I do. Oh, it's got the torpedo nets. That's right. Hmm. Yeah, so it looks like for the most part, you can really only sell stuff here. Hmm, you can sell a casket of sapphires. I remember sapphires were sold somewhere down here. Um, I, be I believe it was here, right? Yeah, I think sapphires were sold here. Given how far away these two places are, that might be a good trade deal. Depends how much you could buy them for, and I don't remember, and I didn't have my little list when I was down there before, so I'm not sure. Anyway, it's probably not worth it if you don't have a merchant ship. There we go. I went ahead and wrote down the stuff in available in the shop into my little list. Let's take a look at this. Carry clay men to London. Are they passengers or cargo? They're certainly the easiest passengers imaginable. Unless, just unless, one turns out to be an unfinished man. Hmm. Six units of cargo space available. That should be no problem. Yeah, let's do it. They troop aboard. Each one lies down in an appointed position next to the other, nested snugly, head by foot. 
We are for London, one explains to you. God damn, they're weird. Really, really weird. So is this... This is a clay man, right? So this is what, uh... The sigil-ridden navigator would want me to get. So let me just check my journal. It should be in there, right? No, no, it's a tireless me mechanic? Yeah, take a clay man and an empty mirror catch box. So is this a clay man? No, it's a trio of clay stokers. Okay, so that's something different. I think. Maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. I mean... I am supposed to buy them at Polythroom, right? So if this is not where I buy a clay man, then how would I? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So, no fuel there. 15 fuel. I'm getting a little bit low. Mount Palmerston is pretty far away. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable going too far. Even with the Tides of Appetite down here. No, I'm going to go up to Ace Devel. Let's go. I may be being a little bit too careful with my fuel, but I really, really do not want to run out. I sure as hell ain't gonna swim back to London. I remember seeing a boat out here before. Hopefully we can find it again, because I wanted to get wanna get into some combat. Let's see what this thing can do. I, I'm a little bit scared of that. I don't know. I don't want to get near it. Well, okay, hold on. Oh, 210? Eh, I think I could do it. We'll be fine. Come on. Now that should stun it, yeah, so now it can't move as fast, which is good. Very, very good. Stun it again. There we go. Oh! 16 damage? Oh, that's not bad. Stun it again. Ah, yes! That was not bad at all. <laughs> Look at that thing, my god. You defeated a... Wait, is that name what I think it is? A mixture of behemoth and mustache? How do you, how the hell do you pronounce those when, you're, when they're put together, though? Behemistish? Because words, you know, when you put, tent, when you put the, the stress in different places, they tend to change quite a bit. Behemustache? Behemistish? I have no idea. The mouth gapes, the eyes are dull. Harvest its flesh and its mustache. <laughs> the one is oily, the other is both oily and magnificent. It is pretty magnificent. Dig around in its innards. Not a pleasant job, but perhaps a profitable one. Indeed, there could be it could have swallowed a lot of very valuable things. Um hmm. So harvesting its flesh would obviously give me supplies. And its mustache, I have no idea. But as for its innards, I have no idea. 
Let's try that one. Oh, it's another e uh, unprepared mess mass. That weird ass word. Unprepossessing. Let's open the sack. A human skull. This isn't the Z beast's stomach. What is it doing in there? Like a seed in a gourd? A lamentable relic. Hmm. I don't think that was worth it. Yeah, so listen for the future. Don't be scared of stuff. Just blow it up. Man, my fear is getting pretty high. This place is just gorgeous. Poor report. Hmm. The lamp is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with a blue light again. Uh, let's spin them a story. Lost five to error. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to lose the Zaylor by doing this again, but it'll get us a ton of supplies. Mm-hmm. Eight supplies for one Zaylor. Completely worth it. Man, I wish I harvested its mustache. I'm really curious what that would have been. Like, what item it would have given me. Should we go to Aram? Eh, might as well, we're going up to the Chapel of Lights. Just wish I had some dark drop coffee beans, because I could reduce my terror by, I think, uh, 20 at Aram. There's anything to actually do here. I could purchase fuel, but that's really expensive. Yeah, I'm not paying that. No. Could purchase an empty mirror catch box for three secrets. That's a terrible deal. Because you can just outright buy one for, what was it, 250 Yeah, you can buy one for 250 Echo at Khan's Shadow. Compared to three secrets? Yeah, that is that is not worth it. That's a ripoff. Yeah, nothing to do here. Let's go to the Chapel of Lights. Also, one thing that's become obvious to me is that I really need to buy more fuel by uh, before setting out for a big adventure. Because I just eat through it really fast. Like, I should fill up my entire hold with fuel. At least if I intend to leave my lights on, which I do because my terror is getting pretty high. Report. Your sigil ridden navigator races towards the chapel. This is the place. Hark! The bell! You give chase. Within, the air is heavy and hushed. 
A consultation in the chapel. You enter to see your navigator shaking a smiling priest by the... Oh, shaking? <laughs> shaking a smiling priest by the collar. It led me here. Tell me what it means. Look at it. Look at it. The priest disentangles himself as politely as possible. I'm sure we can find a path to put you on, my friend. He examines the sigil with the professional air of a collector. But we will need your help in return. Hmm. Either two live specimens or two of my sailors and an unaccountably... Wait. Unaccountably peckish menace. What the hell is that? Hmm. Live specimens. Where would I get those? Our stores are running low. If we cannot feed our congregation, our mission must end. Can you provide? The fresher, the better. I have no idea where to find that. Have I ever seen those before? Live specimens? Would that be maybe like back at the zoo in London? Maybe? Well, I think I'm gonna have to come back here later. I'm a little bit scared to eat of the chapel's bounty. Maybe after eating here enough times, I'll wake up with a sigil myself. Eh. All right, where are we going? Take a stop at the Avid Horizon, assuming that that massive creature is not hanging around there again. And then after that, we can go get some fuel. I'm really curious how much I'm going to get paid for delivering the clay men. It is pretty far away from London, so it might be worth quite a bit. It's certainly a lot further away than the Sphinx Stones, and even that paid pretty well. Maybe if I see that Z-Beast again, I should try to kill it. No, that's a terrible idea. I think it had, I think it had like, what, 400 hit points? This is the place that often has one of those huge moths, somewhere to the north up here. I think those also have 400 hit points, so, hmm. I probably could take them, but uh, I'm a little bit scared to. Yeah, let's stick to stuff that has around my amount of hit points or less. You'd actually think killing those moths would be pretty easy. I mean, as soon as you shoot a cannonball through one of its wings, wouldn't it just flop into the ground? Uh, flop into the water? Alright, there's also often a boat around Mount, Mount Palmerston. One with around 200 hit points, so hopefully I encounter it, because I want to blow it up. I'm eager. Hey, wait a minute, what's this? Is that a thing? 
no islands? I guess it's not a thing. Nope. So slow. I should have went around. I'm actually amazed it can be so cold so close to Mount Palmerston, which has like a live volcano or something. Come on. Sure, where that boat went. Okay, so I'm going to get a bunch of fuel back in London because of my port reports. So I don't want too much. How many port reports am I going to have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to say around nine fuel. So if I'm going to gain around nine fuel, then I want that many slots left when I get back. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. I don't think I want to go see the Devil S again. Still don't have a crate of human souls, nor do I want to sell my own soul. Let's explore the island. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, this again. This is the worst. Let's get out of here. Failed. Gained one terror. That's fine. Take a stop by Station 3, see if we can do any favors for the Acolytes. I really want to get to get into some combat. Come on, somebody challenge me. Somebody. Something. That's a friendly. You gonna teleport? Come on. You know you want to. Hmm. Maybe they patched it. Ding just in time. a visit to Sooth and Cooper. She has a little jar of heart metal shavings, bits too small to be reused for any other purpose, picked out of the teeth of the nutcracker. Boiling liquids. Sooth meets you at the door. Cooper is not home. Sooth has a cauldron on the boil already. And in go the shavings. You wouldn't think they'd melt, but they go like butter, swirling into the mix. Have them bottled by tomorrow forenoon, Sooth says, not looking up from his stirring. Nice, I just gained a bunch of favor. I'm curious where that storyline's going to go. Should I kill this thing? 
Sure. And you're dead. Hello. Can make quick work of this one. Take a stop by Hunter's Keep and then we're back to London. Visit the cellar. Oh yeah, that's the the uh, the tireless mechanic. You know, I do actually have clay men because of the mission. But if I show, you know, if I'm supposed to deliver six and I show up with five, they're gonna get a bit suspicious. And plus, I don't have the box, so that's not gonna happen. Very curious what that would do. I wonder if I keep visiting the sisters, am I eventually going to have that that thing happen? Where the place is burning and all that crazy crap happens, and if that happens, does that mean I can't advance this storyline? Hmm. Let's see, it looks like he wants to visit the sub-cellar. So maybe you could do that even if the place burned down. Well, let's have some lunch with the Lucy, reduce our dare. One supply, minus ten there. Five more memories of distant shores? Oh my god, I've got so many of those. Let's kill these bastards. Get some more supplies. Killing all these piddly creatures is doing wonders for my terror.
All right, let's let them check the place out. Nothing to hide. Oh, you know what? I should have bought more fuel because I failed to account for the fact that I'm going to lose... Uh, I'm going to gain six more spots because of the clay men. Yeah, whoops. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I mean, fuel here at London is only one more expensive than it is at at uh, Mount Palmerston, so it's really not much of a difference. Okay. Uh, papers. Papers, please. No papers. No papers, apparently. I guess that also means I can't hire people. Oh, no, I can. Let's get uh, one Zaylor to replace my missing one. Uh, let's turn in the clay men so that we have room for everything that we're gonna... All the fuel that we're gonna gain for turning in my port reports. 120 Echo. That is not good at all. Hmm. Ashore. One by one, they rise, uncomplainingly, with no trace of stiffness or discomfort from the long voyage. The deck resounds beneath their heavy tread. A shroomyard manager waits on dock, tapping her foot. About time, she says. Here's your payment. Come along now, you. Uh, there's a good construct. Yeah, that pretty much just pays for the fuel, and that's just about it. I wonder if I keep doing it, perhaps it'll lead to something better? Maybe. Okay, port report time. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the uh, what he says for the new places that I visited. Whoops. It's fine, though. Okay, that actually made me a lot of money. Between the 120 from the Clay Men and that, I think I probably made back more than I spent getting there. Not by that much, but I do think I made it back. Anything to turn in? Atlantish artifacts, I have four. Do I have anything to save those four? I don't want to save the strange catches, so you can have that. Uh, I feel like I should save him. Yeah, let's do that. I think I also have a... Yeah, a Firkin of Prisoner's Honey. I just love that name. Firkin. Firkin, Firkin, Firkin. Anybody want to buy it? Anybody? There we go. 25. Ah, cask of mushroom wine. Okay, so I do want this. Yeah. Um, hold on. Okay, yeah, so let's, let's plan out what I'm going to do for the next episode. So, I want to head back to this area. And what can I do here? There's actually quite a bit. So let's see. I have a little list here. You can't see it, unfortunately, but I have a little list where I write down things that I want to do. So one thing I want to do is get five casks of mushroom wine for Godfall. Yeah, because they really wanted mushroom wine, so let's do that. So buy some of that. What? Oh, I'm out of space. Shit. Damn it, we have too much fuel. Fuck. Am I just going to dump it overboard? Well, no, I might as well sell it. Okay, I guess I don't need 29 fuel. I'm going to sell it for two. Ugh.
Okay, so there's a five that I can deliver to Godfall, but there's more we can do as well. Um, yeah, so if I, if I take a sack of Dark Drop Coffee Beans, I can take that up to Aram. Which is kind of in the area anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's buy a crate of human souls. Because I can take that to the Deviless at Mount Palmerston. So I'm thinking of doing pretty much what I just did before, but advancing the storylines. So I'd go across... Yeah, I, th I think I'd go across here, just get some port reports along the way. Hit up Godfall. Deliver the casks of mushroom wine and see what happens with that. Probably visit the Tides of Appetite. Then go to Poly 3, maybe collect some more clay men if I have the room. Go up to Aestavel and uh, forage for more supplies. Go up to Aram, use my sack of Dark Drop coffee beans. And then on the way back, hit up Mount Palmerston, deliver the Crate of Human Souls to the Deviless. Which will probably cause Satan to uh, come after my soul or something, which should be fun. So yeah, I think just make a big circuit of this place and do three story-related things while doing so. Sounds good to me. One thing I want to check out first, though, before I do anything else, is I do need the, uh, what are they, the, the live specimens for the Chapel of Light. So let me see if I can do that with this. Is this related? Purchase a live specimen. Oh, it is. That's so expensive. 500 for one. Oh my god, so I need a thousand gold worth of live specimens. At least if I procure, procure them from here, I need a thousand gold worth of specimens to go to the Chapel of Lights and progress his story. That is really steep. I literally can't even afford it anyway, so... Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. Alright. Well, at least I know where to get them. Okay, so there's a plan. In the next episode, just going to go around here and deliver a bunch of stuff and see what happens with the storylines. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.